Okay, another common question I've been getting is uh, determine the Lewis dot structure of uh, polyatomic anions. For example, we have something like sulfate ion with some negative two charge. So before I do anything, what I would do is well, let's do this. let's draw the valence dot structure for the sulfur, which is going to be well one, two, three, four. Five, six. Sulfur has a valence electron of six electrons, and also oxygen also has a valence electron of six electrons. Okay, and I'm going to note the valence electrons of the oxygen as O and the valence electron of sulfur as X. So I'm going to place the sulfur in the center and surround it with the oxygen molecules. So we have sulfur, we have oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. And oxygen. Let's draw all the valence electrons for each atom. Okay, so the first step is I want to bond any possible bonding electrons. So, for example, this electron of the oxygen with this electron of sulfur and this electron of oxygen with that electron of sulfur. However, we have a charge of negative 2 here. What that means is we can add an additional 2 electrons. And what I'm going to do is the one that has a single bond already connected to the sulfur, I'm going to add the extra electron to this oxygen, then to this oxygen. So when you look at, whoops, let's put it here. To this oxygen here. So when you count the total number of electrons for this oxygen, we already have 8 satisfying the octet rule, and we have 8 satisfying the octet rule because remember, all the electron wants to achieve the electron configuration of its noble gas, which has a valence electron of 8. Okay. So what do you do with these electrons? I'm going to do it in a little bit different color here. So what's going to happen is See, these electron pair of sulfur is going to break up and form a bond with that electron and this electron, therefore forming a double bond with that oxygen. And also, on the left side, these electrons will also be involved in forming a double bond with that electron also. So I'm going to redraw the Lewis dot structure on the sides. So we have sulfur, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, and for the oxygen, let's draw it red so we can kind of clearly know where each electron is coming from. So there are my four oxygen, and here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 and the additional electron from the negative two charge there and there. And uh, if you notice, we have the double bonded here on the left and right side, and we have the single bond on the top and the bottom part. So if I completed the structural formula of this diagram, also, you know what, I forgot to state, since we have the additional electron here, we have a negative charge on that oxygen, and we have a negative charge on this oxygen too. So if you draw the structural diagram, it'll look like this. We have sulfur, double bonded to oxygen, double bonded to oxygen, and single bonded to that oxygen on top with negative one charge, and single bonded oxygen on the bottom, giving a negative charge. So this is how you determine which electron goes with which your final Lewis dot diagram, and then your structural diagram. And this applies for um, chemistry 20 and chemistry 30.